Researchers are now linking the flu shot to sleep problems for some children. A very rare disorder that will last those particular kids for the rest of their lives. This study's out of Great Britain. It claims that a version of the swine flu vaccine might cause narcolepsy in children. Might. Narcolepsy, narcolepsy is an immune problem that causes the body to attack its own cells, leaving people tired and sometimes having weird hallucinations. Doctors gave out some 30 million doses of this shot back in 2009 and 2010. Now GlaxoSmithKline, which makes the vaccine, reports more than 800 cases of narcolepsy linked to the shot in Europe. The news comes after health officials here in the United States reported that this season's flu shot is effective only in 56% of the time. They say it largely fails to protect the elderly from an especially deadly strain. In those cases, it's but 6% effective. Joining us now, Dallas radio talk show host, Dr. M Mitchell Brooks. Doc, I, I want to start off by saying this has nothing to do with the flu shot that's out there now, and every kid ought to get this flu shot. Everybody in danger ought to get this flu shot. It's a bad flu, right? Precis precisely so. The flu vaccine that was utilized in Europe is something called Pandemrix, and it's not been used in the United States, so that's really important to emphasize here. I, I wonder, though, now, since we now know we're not talking about anything going on now in, in these United States or anywhere in Europe where you're watching us at night right now, but this particular shot that happened way back then, narcolepsy in kids, that's weird. Well, it's, it's certainly rare, and the numbers are, are, are very small. They're between 1 in 52 and 1 in 57,000 people. Uh, so tiny, tiny numbers. And we're really not sure. You can't say that the pandemics causes the narcolepsy, but you might be able to say that the pandemics creates a problem through a, an immunological booster that it uses called an adjuvant hmm. that may be linked to the narcolepsy. And there's also genetic predisposition to the narcolepsy in these children. We found that out. And also they have to have had that particular strain of flu virus that contained the H1N1 pandemic flu in 2009. So we're talking about very, very specific parameters here. Right, back to the flu that's going on now in the United States. It's not a fun one. I have a lot of friends around this building, the thousands of us work here. I don't know anybody who's taken the flu shot who's gotten the flu. That said, it's not working very well on the elderly, and I wonder why that is. Well, I'm not elderly, but I got the flu shot, and it didn't help me. Huh. So uh, the, the reason is because not everybody uh, is, uh, has the same response to the flu. Uh, so the issue is, do you take this and take a chance that you may get the flu, or do you not take it and take even a higher chance that you'll get the flu? You know, in this particular strain, we're talking about 1 in 5 to 1 in 20 people getting the flu. And if you've got comorbid conditions like heart disease or lung disease, it's not a smart idea. So it's like my grandmother used to say, it wouldn't hurt. So it's a good thing to do. Yeah, it really is. Doc, it's nice to see you. Dr. Mitchell Brooks, MD, family practitioner and Dallas radio talk show host. Appreciate it.